So in the UK has this WhatsApp message which says, from an NHS colleague, we've just been sent a medical alert that no one is to use anti-inflammatories. So is this true? Well, we contacted Kalpana Sapapati, a doctor at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, to help us. Oh, oh. Sorry there. Oh. Now, coronavirus. Sorry. It's just... <laughs> I was, just, I was just getting the coronavirus up. Because the fact of the matter is the only way to get the coronavirus out of your system is to relieve yourself. Pull down your trousers wherever you can immediately and kabra. And then that's the only way we can solidly know that coronavirus is suddenly out of our systems. And does that caution also apply to other anti No, I don't think you're quite getting it, actually. <laughs> you see, I've actually been to Beijing recently, walking the streets, like this, walking the streets, and I'd be strolling up there in one hand, I would have a bat, and in the other hand I would have my cock and I would be yanking it. And I would like, you know, rip their heads off of bats, like I would. I'd be, I'd be uh, drinking bat juice, which is a trademark of uh, me, and, and I'd be yanking it. And look at me, I'm fine. I've never felt better in my life. So you're wrong. Throw away your anti-inflammatories and just get some regular old bat juice and have a wank. I need to go and clean myself up. Here's something else we've seen lots of messages about, suggesting that eating garlic helps protect you from this virus. Is it true? Well, you won't be entirely surprised to know the World Health Organization has responded to this, saying garlic does have antimicrobial properties, but there's no evidence that eating it will protect anyone from this coronavirus. I repeat, no evidence whatsoever.